So hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Volvi and today we're going to do another prediction video for WrestleMania 39 night 2. If you didn't see my night 1 video, you can still check it out on the i button or probably in the description. You can you're gonna see like I'm I've discussed about the night one pre, night one of the WrestleMania. This is gonna be the night two of WrestleMania prediction video. So let's start with the prediction video and the first match we're gonna see as the Intercontinental Championship match. The champion Gunther defending his uh, championship against two of the members of the uh, former best friends, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Now a banger match right now. I see this match can be a banger and the the title reign of Gunther is really really good and I and I think he's gonna retain it but uh I'm if I seeing about his opponents who are Drew McIntyre and who is the Sheamus I, I see like they also have a very good chance to win win the championship but uh I still don't know who is going to be winner of the match, but uh, I'm saying uh, like Gunther is going to retain the title. I'm predicting Gunther. He is going to retain the title. He's going to bre break all the Intercontinental Championship records and he's going to be walk out as the Intercontinental Champion. And if uh, if WWE is not planning to make Gunther as a champion, then I think Sheamus should win the championship because he's never won the the uh, Intercontinental Championship in his career. So I think if he won the match, if he were win the championship, then he would be a Grand Slam champion. So if if not the Gunther, then Sheamus would be the next pick. Drew McIntyre doesn't have the chance to win. If he won, I don't have problem. But I think Sheamus or Gunther, one of these uh, one of these people should deserve to win the championship. So I think the Gunther is gonna retain the title, no doubt about it. Next match is gonna be for the Raw Women's Championship match. Champion Bianca Belair versus Asuka the Challenger. Now Bianca was champion since WrestleMania 38. She's not defeated until now. So she's gonna defend against Asuka and I'm not seeing anything else. Asuka is gonna win the match. Asuka would be the Raw Women's Champion. Bianca is not gonna retain the time. If she retains, I think she's the first female who's gonna who has a very good title reign uh, in the WWE, like kind of Roman Reigns thing. She, she uh, Bianca Belair also is going on right now because she wins at WrestleMania 38 and she's defending now at WrestleMania 39. If she, again she retains, then probably they gonna <laughs> again they gonna do at WrestleMania 40 or not. I don't know, but. I think this is not gonna happen. Asuka is gonna win the championship. Asuka would be the raw, new Raw Women's Champion. And the Bianca title reign is gonna be over. She is not, she is not impressive as a champion. She is good as an athlete. She is good as a wrestler. But I think she is not good as a champion still. But uh, probably at in the near future, if she could win the, win again the championship, then I would see how she would be. Uh, good as a champion champion at the next upcoming future but right now Asuka should win the match now the next match is gonna be the I think the most craziest match and I think most unpredictable no not un unpredictable but most more most of the greatest match I think I'm gonna see right now uh, in the night two it's gonna be Edge versus Finn Balor inside Hell in the Cell match this you yeah, the story is completely completely good like it's it's very very good right now like after the bloodline storyline if you think of another storyline uh, who is secured after the bloodline storyline then the, i think the judgment day storyline is on fire and to end this storyline to end the judgment day chapter against edge this match is held in the cell he's facing against finn balor at WrestleMania uh, inside Hell in the Cell. Now the rumors are telling that the Brood is coming back again. The Kangaroo is coming back. I don't know about Christian. He's with AEW. I don't know if he comes or not. But if he comes, the Brood is going to be reunited. And I think that's going to be a nightmare for Finn Balor. And I think, if I'm not wrong, the, the demon Finn Balor is coming back in this one. So this match is going to be likely the uh, horror type match. Or uh, probably like... A demon is there. There is the brood one guy, 
who is likely a horror horror type character they're gonna combine it they're gonna collide each other this match is gonna be a super craziest match i'm gonna see at wrestlemania likely one of the craziest match of all time i'm gonna see at wrestlemania life <laughs> so uh, about the match prediction really easy edge is gonna win the match no doubt Finn Balor is winning the match. Edge is going to win the match. And he's going to he's gonna finish the story of the Judgment Day. So, no doubt Edge is going to win the match. But, the, yeah, but the match is going to be on fire. The match is going to be like the super craziest match I'm going to ever see at the WrestleMania stage. Now, the next match uh, we're going to see as the women's, uh, women's WrestleMania showcase match is going to be against Raquel Rodriguez, Liv Morgan versus Natalia and Shotzi versus Sonia Deville, Chelsea Green versus Ronda Rousey and Sheena Baszler. Uh, this is also like the men's one, women's one. I'm seeing like Ronda Rousey and Sheena Baszler is going to win the match. No, no, not much talk about this match. Really, really boring match is going to be, I think. The next match is going to be a kind of pretty interesting match. And most of the people were disappointed from this uh, match card. But I think the how the story they have shown right now. So, uh, people are really interested. I'm not, uh, I'm, I didn't follow this storyline because I was in the work. And I don't know what, what is going to be. It. It's going to be a Brock Lesnar versus the Nigerian giant Omos in a classic match. Now... As Brock Lesnar faces uh, so many so many giants in the in WWE, the next giant is gonna face as Omos, and Omos is kind of pretty different uh, uh, giant in, in compare of other giants like Big Show, Mark Henry, Braun Strowman, Kane, or Undertaker, anywhere else. But Omos is much different person to face as a giant. So I think since he has faced so many giants and. Uh, um, I think this this match is gonna be also good one, but not that really great, decent one only. And I think Brock Lesnar is gonna win the match because he has a very high losing streak at WrestleMania. So I think uh Brock Lesnar should win the match, and he show he show almost that size doesn't matter anymore. So this this is gonna be the this is gonna be the result. Brock Lesnar is gonna win against Omos. But if Omos wins, I would be very much surprised if he wins or not. So the main event, I think the most talkable match we're gonna see in the main event of Night 2 WrestleMania and which is gonna close down WrestleMania. The match is gonna be for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Champion, the Tribal Chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns versus the American Nightmare, the dashing one, Cody Rhodes. This is how the story, this is the personal storyline, like, the Dusty Rose has told, like, the, he, he never talk about Cody Rose for, uh, when he was at Roman Reigns, the Paul Heyman managed Dusty Rose, and likely he, that, that's the thing, like, uh, Cody Rose was his favorite son, but the Roman Reigns was the, was the son that he always wants, and that were the personal personality or i say the story or stories come at the personal level so so i think those and the and the story is all about that cody rose needs to finish his story he wants to be the champion right now as and i think the storyline the promo cards the everything we're gonna see right now the uh, from roman and Saint cody rose i think this is the time that Roman Reigns is not going to retain the championship. Cody Rhodes is winning the match. Every time we are saying like Roman is going to win, Roman is going to win against him, Roman is going to win against him, Roman is Roman Reigns is going to win against him. But against Cody Rhodes, I don't see it that he's going to retain the champ that he's going to retain against Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is going to win the match and he's going to become the undisputed WWE Universal Championship and I think he's going to he's gonna uh, keep the WWE Championship in his hand and he's gonna retire the Universal Championship and I think probably we're gonna see a big gold world heavyweight championship or probably we're gonna see a new Universal Championship design probably they're gonna put down the Universal Championship name as it is but they're gonna just change the championship uh, design or overall because Triple H has approved the world championship design design for it yeah is it for WWE Championship? I don't think so. It's going to be for WWE Championship. Probably it would be for Universal Championship because the both titles are looking uh, similar. Just the strap color is different. 
uh, other than that, the championship is pretty much similar. So I think Cody Rhodes should win the championship. He should retire the uh, Universal Championship. And I think WWE should bring the World Heavyweight Championship back again in WWE because he, that championship has that prestigious thing. The biggest to biggest people have won the championship. So I think if Triple H bring it, probably if, if they change this design as that doesn't matter, but the name should come again back as World Heavyweight Championship. I don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but I'm really interested for this one. So this is the prediction video for night uh, for night two of WrestleMania. If you didn't see the night one video, please uh, check it out in the co co uh, not the comment section at the i button or in the description. I'm really excited for uh, WrestleMania. Uh, before that, the stand and deliver is gonna be happen. I'm not following NXT much, but uh, the match is gonna be uh, matches are also gonna be good at stand and deliver. But I think at WrestleMania. I'm really excited right now. The card is looking really good for night one as well as for night two. Really interesting. Let's see who's gonna win. The, does uh, our prediction is gonna be good or not? Let me know in the comment section below your night one and night two prediction uh, predictions for the match cards. This is mine. You you tell me your predictions. I'm I'm gonna see who's gonna win the win it and who's gonna tell it. So yeah, that is it for this video. And let's see you at WrestleMania 39. And yeah. Be, be active in the com community tab because I think I'm going to be active there and I'm going to post something there and going to say who is going to be winning the match, who is not. The incredible moments for it. So please be active in the, com in the community tab. So uh, let's see. So I'm going to see you tomorrow, tomorrow night or probably for in the morning or evening, wherever you are, whenever you are in the, in the countries. So see you there. So goodbye, everybody.